I was four years old. I remember staring up at the ceiling of my four-year-old bedroom and hearing this ringing in my ears. Going into my parents' room and telling my mom, and I remember her having to bend down to talk to me because I was so small. The audiologist ended up telling me that I had a progressive hearing loss. So basically, I had to grow up from a very young age knowing that eventually I was going to lose all my hearing. So I remember as I was growing up, the amount of times that I said what in a conversation would increase. And that was kind of my own personal way of monitoring how bad my hearing was getting. In third grade, my parents decided that it was a good idea to learn sign language. A tutor would come to my house and I would have sign language lessons. And that's basically how I know sign language. Sadly, I'm not fluent. I'm actually working on that right now. So my family was so amazing. They would also try to learn ASL. And because of that, I can basically communicate with them when I need to, if I can't hear in loud situations, which I am so, so grateful for. If you want to learn ASL, I recommend looking up your favorite song, poem, or whatever, and going onto an ASL dictionary and just learning and memorizing and performing. So as I kept growing up, clearly my hearing was getting worse. And eventually it got to a point where I needed to get the surgeries. I needed cochlear implants if I wanted to still hear. So I ended up getting two cochlear implants. I'll talk on that more in a future video because that's a whole separate story. But personally, I'm glad that I got the cochlear implants. They worked out really well for me. And I'm, again, so thankful to be able to have the opportunity to get them. Someone asked me how I feel about the word disabled. Now clearly the word disabled has a lot of negative connotations. I feel that the word disabled for me represents all the struggles and the things that I've learned from being disabled, from being deaf. It doesn't represent all the things that I can't do. So when someone says I'm disabled, I don't see it as such a negative thing. I see all the things that I've learned from being deaf and all the things that have made me the person I am today. I definitely realized that being deaf filters out certain people, which I actually love about it. There are clearly some people who don't have the patience or empathy to be respectful to someone with a disability. And I have gotten right off the bat a lot of disrespect and I know right away that that's someone I wouldn't associate myself with. I'm thankful for that because the people I have in my life right now are amazing people. On top of that, it has definitely taught me so much empathy. I know how hard having a disability can be. For that reason, I am much more conscious of my language and how inclusive I am. I'm very thankful for that because I would not want anyone to feel disrespected or not included around me because I know how that feels. I'm proud of being deaf. I honestly would not change it. I even got this, it says Deaf AF. 